Right in the mail, MS sex games from Japan. Collecting with our fail, those shoot 'em ups, and that's the plan. He doesn't just collect them, he also codes them too. Join us and we'll go on electric adventures with you. Hey YouTube, Electric Adventures here with a little package in the mail. from all the way from Europe in uh, France in Europe I believe from Cote Gamers so this is potentially another homebrew title for Decovision nicely wrapped we have more than one title for the Lego Vision Perhaps even, I just actually thought it might be for the MSX as well. Let's have a look. Okay. Right, yeah, they're for the MSX. So these are physical versions of um, some of the games that came out for uh, last year's MSX Dev competition. So I'm um, very excited to try these out. So, again, so the first one is called Solo. Well, it's actually quite a decent puzzle platform type game. Um, I, I do believe I enjoyed having a play of this when I had my I did my quick snippet video with a quick play of each of the ones from the competition. So nicely packaged. Nice big. There's a fair few pages of the manual, and there's the cartridge there. Very nice. It is good that Code Gamers are doing some MSX titles because um, we lost one of the publishers uh, during co during the COVID times. Okay, so that part's in French. Okay, here's the English part. <laughs> so we've got a, the menu in a couple of different um, languages. So I'll be quite interested in um, getting back into this and uh, seeing how far we can get. I'm sure it's going to uh, take a, uh, be good fun working it out. So that's our first title. And there is more. So, oh yeah, this one was really interesting. So this is Rulando Buffon, uh, Buffonada. Sorry if I've trashed that. So, Buffonada. That's a devil uh, ca character. Or devil clown character. And you have two characters that you can control. And you've got to control either the goat or the clown. And switch between them to work out your way between the screens. And it's done in this nice shadow art style, which is actually uh, quite well done. So we've got a nice slip, slip cover. I actually quite like these boxes, they're quite easy to undo. Have a manual. Well, okay, yes, and the, the actual owner of Kote Gamers uh, runs an animal shelter. So I'll hold this up because it's actually got a QR code. Um, and if you're um, interested in helping uh, out with that with his process of that and he's had a lot of animals to rescue please do scan that and go and have a look yeah, the sound of animal shelter so that's his other passion <coughs> and there's another advertisement here for a Legend of Zelda Lux box. I'm not sure what that one is. It's a special box, two bookmarks, artworks, and uh, so it's Zelda inspired artwork. So, Cut Out Gamers do a lot of printing. So, in here we have the cartridge. Very well done, very good quality. As I said, it's nice having another <coughs> pop 
publisher of MSX titles. So we'll flip into the English the first time this time. Yes. So the story is the kingdom of Chimera has fallen into disgrace, the spell of perpetual night threatens its existence. I list here our sources as Breen must find an ally who can help me under this mess, but who? God help us. So that's the opening text. It's giving the controls and then the general screen layout and things. So you, you said you've got two two characters which you can uh, flip between, um, they've got different abilities um, and you need to be able to you know, flick switches and get to the next screen and work your way through. So and two puzzle platformers for us to uh, work through. So very excited to give these another proper go. I said I only really gave each of the MSX dev games a really quick play um, and I did that uh, video when the uh, when all the contestants uh, entries were in last year. So now we get to play two of the games properly. Let's go do that now. So here we go with Buffon Nada. Buffon Nada. Jester up on the top um, can't move, he's imprisoned. Now, if I press down, should change characters. Oh. Press space drops the. Okay, so I'm still calling to restart. I press down, and now I'm controlling the gut. And I can press up to jump. Has limited jump height. Then you do that switch, and now I can switch characters again. Okay, bad. Just to kind of go on that one. So drop the goat. Change the goat. Thank you. 
I jump? Oh, jump on the go. And now we've got multiple ways we can go, which is interesting. Mm, okay. All right, well, I won't spoil too much more of the game. Obviously, um, it's sucking me in, and I'm starting to work out the controls. Um, I'll see if I can muck around with the title screen and get the joystick working, because that would be um, a little bit more convenient, rather than me leaning over the screen. But um, that's actually quite a good game. So if you like puzzle platformers like that, yourself a copy. Alright, let's try our next game. Right, here we go with Solo, uh, by the same developer, and actually, uh, I think I might have said MSX Dev 22 for this one. This one's actually from an early MSX Dev, this one's from MSX Dev 21. Um, and, um, so obviously not very obvious, but you go up to where it says keyboard, and with the keys, you can't do it with the joystick, and change it to joystick 1. Now I assume we can press start now. No, we've still got to start it with the key. So, just um, tips to the programmer. It is very easy to enable keys and joystick and not have the person select. Uh, it's just not very user friendly. Let's go ahead. Hopefully the joystick works now. Right. Oh, thank goodness for that. We've got... So we have a robot and a jump. So we've got one thing. Time in 
get past this guy. So we shouldn't to do that. We need to be up so we can walk through the purple stuff. Yeah, get that. Let's watch this. then Blue. 
shows that I can improve. Slowly getting used to it. Um, look, I do like these sort of games. Um, uh, sometimes they get a little frustrating when they're a little bit too pixel perfect, but um, um, I reckon this has got uh, more in it that I'll need to um, have a bit more practice and keep playing. Alright, I'm Electric Adventures. Thanks to all my subscribers and thanks for watching. <laughs>